Award Wednesdays this week, we gathering at the St. Lucie District Hospital, which is receiving four 2,000 gallon water tanks to really help with their backup supply here. To tell me more about this initiative, which is a partnership between the BWA and the St. Lucie District Hospital and by extension, the Ministry of Health, we have the General Manager of the BWA, Keith Roy Halliday. Uh, talk to me a bit about this partnership that you've formed here with the St. Lucie District Hospital. Well, it's really more than that, Shane. We're looking to form the partnership, not only with the, with the um, St. Lucie District Hospital, but also with the National Organizing Committee. What we've been doing, uh, starting with St. Lucie today, is reaching out to what we consider to be community-based uh, entities who have such a need. And on a monthly basis, as we move from parish to parish, in line with the Regathering 2020 initiative, we'll be seeking to do similar donations towards the end of the month. But what we're also doing is having our staff involved. Nice. Over the last year, as the BW has been involved, we've been trying to make the BW in and of itself much more of a community-based organization. And we have actually sought to include our staff. We reach out to our staff who also reside in various communities. And we have asked them to submit or to make suggestions as to possible names of some of the same community-based entities that we can actually see, try to assist in, in this respect as well. But our teams are coming out and they're assessing what the daily requirements are for uh, but particularly the vulnerable type institutions or those institutions, that key institutions that we feel must be afforded this level of support or this level of supply or backup. And based on that supply, we're trying to donate as many tanks as we can. These tanks, as significant as they are, 8,000 gallons, will really only guarantee a minimum of about three days uh, supply for the district hospital and I think it's early in uh, Scantiberry um, facility, which is next door as well. So this is just a start. This is just a minimum. And this is a show or demonstration by the Barbados Water Authority as well, uh, supported very strongly by our chairman and our board, as well as the Ministry of Energy and Water Resources, to say to everyone and all concerned, we are starting, we're showing you what must be done. We want you to take your water security seriously. Indeed. We want you to make sure that you have some sort of storage supply that makes sense. And very shortly you'll see us taking this further, uh, an initiative which has been pushed as well by our Prime Minister and the Cabinet in terms of the personal tank program and for those residents out there of a certain level of square footage to make sure that they have and they consider and incorporate in their building and in their design uh, and their way of life the, the additional storage um, capacity water storage that they should have. We are very, very grateful for this um, donation. Uh, when we talk about times of disaster, there are three things, water, food, and shelter. So this, is, this water is, is essential for the residents. Uh, one, in our routine day-to-day -day services, if there is an outage, then we know we can continue to have water for the staff to attend to the needs of the residents and for the residents to drink and do other things like their daily absolutions. Uh, in terms of disaster preparedness, so when we have our emergency response, we know that we have portable water that's accessible here at St. Lucie District Hospital. So that is definitely an improvement to the plant, an improvement to the conditions of the residents living here. We usually are generally at schools when the water is off the children can't go home so we can't send these patients anywhere. So we are here the staff especially nursing staff and, and ancillary staff that it means that we cannot tidy the patient as much as we would like so we would have to use things like um, wipes because obviously there's no water and we try to, because we definitely didn't have any type of water storage, so we, we, want, we would have some in bottles and we would use those for drinking, but other than that, there was no water at all. So again, thank you, Keith Roy, and we want to thank you for watching Water Wednesdays. We will continue to gather from parish to parish and taking more tanks to those communities that need them the most. So you can watch out for more of that here on Water Wednesdays. To view this or a previous episode again, please visit our website www.barbadoswaterauthority.com. You can go to our Facebook page and get additional information or just type Water Wednesdays in YouTube. You can find us there. It is